What are invasive species? Invasive species are plants, animals, pathogens, and other organisms that are non-native to an ecosystem and which may cause economic or environmental harm or adversely affect human health. Which species was considered invasive? The National Committee of Invasive Alien Species Malaysia had listed a number of alien species. Some of the examples are Rhodboelia cochichinensis, the itchgrass, Salvinia molesta, the cariba weed, and Mycania micranta, the bitter vine. Another example of invasive alien species is Acacia mangium, which will be discussed further as we go along in this video. Acacia mangium is the species that plays in Acacia genus under the Fabaceae family and order of Fabales. This species is known as brown salwood tree that is fast growing, large tree that can grow up until 30 meter tall with 60 cm diameter. It has straight trunk that can occupy over half of the total tree height. The bark of the tree is rough, pale grey brown to dark brown with longitudinal furrow pattern. The acacia mangium grow in hot and warm climatic zone that has high and equable temperature. It also grow in well-drained acidic soil of moderate to low fertility. The acacia mangium is one of major plantation species in humid tropical lowland of Asia due to high success growth because it has extreme growth rate with high acidic tolerance and easy cultivation establishment. The distribution of the species based on country is as shown. The negative impact of acacia mangium to native species. The species has the potential to cause major negative impacts to the biodiversity and ecosystem functioning when it becomes invasive. It influences the concentrations of soil nutrients and neighboring plants. In its early evasion stage, Acacia mangium is able to alter both soil and leaf nitrogen, increase shed and enable a wider range of light variation, which is facilitated by the nitrogen taken up transferred to the neighboring plants. A high economic loss due to invasive characteristic. Due to invasion, this may cause the tourism sector to lose their opportunity to widen the nature-based tourism in the country. The increase in the growth of Acacia magnium population will probably cause the loss of nature species and reduce the variety which always be the main attraction for tourists around the world. This reduce in the density of forests will also cause the loss of other high-quality timber species. The invasion of these species nearby the river bank can reduce the excess for the rafters and swimmers and as a result, there will be less investment in nature recreation and therefore making a lot of economic loss to the country. The loss of the readily landscaping area will reduce the landscape value and making it less attractive. Disease such as heart rot that defect the stem of Acacia magnium will cause the damage to the plant species and therefore making decrease in the production of timber thus making a great economic loss over time span for the plantation. Acacia magnium favors a clean-cut forest or burn field for its plantation site as it enables them to invade the forest easily as compared to a high density forest. However, it requires a high cost for plantation area preparation. Acacia magnum also requires a high maintenance cost, especially for its pest management as it is easily get harmed by other pests which damage the seedlings, branches and stem of the species. Despite being an invasive species, let us look on the bright side of Acacia mangium. The trees produce sapwood and hardwood which make it potential for timber. The timber is very heavy, hard and strong, so it is not liable to warp and crack badly. It also has potential for molding, for niches and veneers. Next, Acacia mangium is used in paper and pulp industry as it is an excellent source of short cellular fibers for paper making. 
The wood is suitable for paper, pulp, particle port, crates, and wood chips. Acacia mangum is also used in soil management and ecological restoration. It can improve nitrogen availability in soils in mixed cultures as the trees increase the turnover rate of nitrogen in the topsoil. It increases soil biological activity and rehabilitates the physical and chemical properties of the soil. It is used in agroforestry and erosion control and helps to recover degraded tropical lands. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you!